You are now watching the Lone Blown. Blown! Yo, what's up, YouTube? You are now back watching the Lone Blown, and we're glad to have you back. Today, we're going to be going over Zacian Lucario Mel Metal Scizor V Max. I mean, it's got to be one of those decks where it's kind of like a it's metal box, I guess. At this point, I don't know entirely what to call the deck. I don't know if anyone else calls it. I mean. Scizor VMAX is what makes this deck new, but uh, let's jump into the deck profile, explain what we got going on here, and showcase this beautiful deck to you. So with most metal decks, it's going to be a Zacian base. The reason why most metal decks play a Zacian base is because Zacian is the most efficient metal attacker in the game. Three energies for 230 is absolutely unheard of. Intrepid Sword is a game-breaking, energy-accelerating, and uh drawing ability decent hp decent re resistance f weakness and retreat costs this pokemon is like the full package of what you could ever hope for in order to make the deck even more consistent we have four copies of jirachi jirachi is going to allow us to grab all the little things that we're ever looking for in our games which is going to be important stellar wish is just a strong card I don't, I don't there's no other way to put it it's just it's a strong way to search out cards make your deck a little bit more consistent and that's the thing we're always looking for something with this deck whether we're looking for a professor's research a metal goggles to reduce our opponent's damage or even a metal saucer to get an attack off we're always looking for something we got scissor v max i don't want to say it's the star of the show it's interesting for sure. It's a VMAX Pokemon, so kind of like a stage one. It evolves from Scizor V, so its first attack, metal hard scissors, is metal colorless, 90 damage, which is really easy to power up in a deck like this, especially with Metal Saucer. You can reduce your opponent's damage by 30. Like, Scizor V is going to take 30 less damage from an attack. So combining that with Metal Goggles in this deck and Lucario Melmetal, you could do minus 90 against a Pokemon with 320 HP. Metal Metal Colorless is doing 190 damage. No drawback compared to the Zacian. So, I mean, you don't need to retreat. You don't need to do anything. So you could use Hard Scissors, stop your opponent from getting an Oko, maybe Reset Stamp them if they're trying to boss his orders to win the game, and then go for a Max Steel Pike to win the game. I also like the Scizor V individually as well. Um, even if Scizor V Max doesn't end up working out in this deck, Scizor V might. Um, so it does evolve into the Scizor V Max, 210 HP, pretty basic. For Metal Energy, you could do 30 damage um, and discard a Pokemon tool and special energy cards from your opponent's active Pokemon. So I think that's just a cool, cool way to slow down your opponent maybe it's a dragapult with special energy or an eternatus with a high dark energy i think that tear off's pretty cool 140 with clock with slash claw is interesting enough i mean if you're doing three energies you'd rather attack with a zation but you take what you can get and let's say if you miss the scissor v max this pokemon might be able to survive a hit especially with a metal goggles or with lucario melmetal gx's gx attack overall pretty cool uh, we've talked enough about the Lucario Mel Metal GX, where I think we need to now show it. We're really using this for Full Metal Wall GX just to stop our opponent from doing extra damage. We can discard their energies in a pinch if we really need to, so always keep that opportunity open. Only one of these cards because it is worth three prize cards, and it's pretty low HP, like three prize card 260 HP, three prize card 320 HP. It's almost like that Drake Hotline bling meme. We got a copy of Zamazenta V here. This is just because the format is becoming more and more VMAX orientated. Um, upcoming from Darkness of Blaze, Eternatus VMAX is strong. I still assume that Dragapult VMAX will see some play in some capacity. We have Senna Scourge VMAX. I mean, it's VMAX, 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 VMAX. And they seem to be shoving VMAX in our faces. So Zamazenta seems like a likely partner in a deck like this. Just having an option again, it's, it's not like zation lucario mel metal it's more like metal box we have orangaroo here as well orangaroo is just so that we could put cards on top of our deck in case we're trying to like maybe save a metal saucer before we go with a professor or with a professor's research 
or maybe you want to i don't know just save cards in general this deck is going to go with the triple threat package of crobat v dedene and eldegoss crobat v does allow us to drop the six cards we don't discard anything from our hand so if we have a low hand size crobat v is typically strong or if we don't want to discard anything dedene gx is great if we just can get rid of our hands we don't care maybe we want to discard some metal energies from metal saucer maybe we want to maybe we just want to get rid of everything because we're looking for that one boss in order to win the game eldegoss v does give us an out to our supporters this deck as it has a tricky pokemon lineup it does have a tricky uh, supporter lineup as well so we can use eldegoss v to perfection and just so you know there's also a copy of this list in the description as well so if you're not really into listening to all my individual comments about everything you can totally check that out check out the social links as well and be sure to like share and subscribe to the channel we have four copies of professor's research this is pretty typical in almost every single deck at this point you just want to draw cards discard maybe energies or useless cards to you in a particular matchup what would a tricky deck not be without marnie marnie also doubles up as our shuffle draw supporter kind of so it allows us to just like put resources that we might not want to discard at the bottom of our deck we got a couple of boss's orders here so we play the boss's orders just so we could bring up whichever pokemon we want maybe they have a pokemon with a lot of energies they're going to discard with lucario melmetal gx Maybe we damage something with a Zacian V and we want to finish it off with a Scizor V Max. Maybe it's that game ending move. Boss Order is just a really important card. Our Pokemon, since they do have a lot of energy or sorry, damage reducing concepts in this deck, I want to make sure that we could bolster that with Mallow and Lana. Seems particularly strong in a deck like this. We have one copy of Chaotic Swell. So the Chaotic Spell will stop our opponent from having some kind of access to their Stadium card. I feel like that might be okay, especially with Black Market Prism Star being good, Thunder Mountain Prism Star being good, Giant Hearth. There's a decent bit of strong supporter card or Stadium cards in our upcoming format. So Chaotic Spell will take care of that for the most part. And we have two copies of Metal Goggles. The Metal Goggles will allow us to reduce our damage that our opponent's going to be doing. So... We could also stop other weird things with the rest of the effect. I just don't necessarily think that's going to be a huge aspect. It's really for the damage reduction because we did lose some of our other metal variant cards, such as metal frying pan in the rotation. We have four copies of Quick Ball here. Quick Ball is going to let us search out what we want, hopefully discarding metal energy with metal saucer. We have three copies of Pokemon Communication here. Pokemon communication will get us Pokemon. I mean, this deck does have evolution kind of Pokemon. So with enough Pokemon in the deck, we have 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, 17 Pokemon. We should have an abundance of Pokemon, which will make Pokemon communication more usable. The deck will be a little bit more consistent based off that as well, because we'll have extra outs to search for Crobat, Dedenne, Eldegoss, and even Oranguru. I mean, even Jirachiorization. This deck should have a pretty consistent shell overall. We have some copies of Switch here. We did lose a Skateboard, so a lot of decks are maxing out their Switch counts. This deck's no different. Just to get Jirachi out of the active position, we have Intrepid Sword, or not Intrepid Sword, we have Brave Blade, so that if we attack, we can attack again. Gives us some outs. We have four copies of Metal Saucer here. And that's just for us to power up all of our wonderful metal Pokemon. Every single attacking Pokemon in the deck is metal type. So Metal Saucer can be abused. We have two copies of Reset Stamp. Again, kind of dealing with that trickiness of the deck where we could slow down our opponent's setup, gain a huge leap in a matchup, and kind of just steal games. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 11 copies of metal energies why do we play that much that's just how many a deck like this needs to survive um to mix with attaching energies discarding energies to get off with metal saucer enough to get off with intrepid sword just a decent blend i mean i, I haven't mathematically proved it 11 just seems safe for this deck 
and there's not anything that we're excessive needing extra cards in there's nothing that we're really lacking in i mean maybe we could go to 10 maybe we could go to 12 i just think 11 is fine especially for my preference when it comes to this deck so overall this deck's fairly strong i totally recommend you give it a chance there's other cards that might be interesting in this deck. There's the Apom promo. I know that people have played in their Zacian Lucario Mail Battle decks, and that would allow you to discard your opponent's hand, being a little bit more disruptive there. Things that you might want to cut out of this deck, maybe you might want to cut out a Jirachi. You might be able to cut out a Marnie or two. You might be able to cut out a Metal Goggles. I mean, there's lots of cards that you might be able to cut. I think this is a very solid base list. And again, it's in the descriptions as well, along with the socials. So be sure to check that all out. Um, I, I really appreciate y'all watching the video up until this point. I know we've been putting out a lot of content on the Lone Blown channel, and we will continue to do that as well here. So that that's my promise to you. Totally appreciate it. Have yourself a great one. Really hope that you enjoyed watching that video. I totally enjoyed making it. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like the video, share the video with everyone that you know, and subscribe to the channel as well. Totally appreciate all the support. We got a lot of cool things happening on the channel, so stay tuned for more. Be sure to check out the social links in the description. Thanks and have yourself a great one.